Hello everyone, and welcome to the coolest fighting video yet in the Arctic future. In this age, there are eight types of units that you can use, with three of them classified as heavy. But first, let's check out some of the other types. Here we have the Surrogate Soldier. It has a decent range and movement, and it has attack and defense bonuses in entrenchments, in houses, and against light units and fast units. It has two skills, the first being dug in, which we've seen before, which allows it to gain a defense bonus if the attacker is more than two spaces away. And it also has the contact skill, which allows it to retaliate against any attack, even from a range. Here we have the Recon Raider. It's a fast unit with a slightly lower range, but a much higher movement speed. It has attack and defense bonuses in entrenchments again, on rubble, and versus heavy units and artillery units. It also has the skill dug in. Then Plasma Artillery, the artillery unit, obviously. As can be expected, a much higher range and still a decent movement speed. It has attack bonuses on planes, defense bonuses on hills and in houses, with both attack and defense bonuses versus heavy units and ranged units. It has two skills, the first called Heat, which reduces the attack of the target by 20%. The second one is called Blast, which gains an attack bonus for each field closer to the target that it is. It also ignores Stealth. An interesting one is the Dragon Drone. It's a light unit, but it's a melee unit, meaning that its range is only one. Luckily though, it has a high movement speed. It has attack bonuses in bushes, and defense bonuses in forests and on rubble, and both attack and defense bonuses against a fast unit and an artillery unit. It also has two skills, the first one being flying, which means that it can't be attacked by artillery units, and it ignores terrain when moving, and the second being dragon breath, which attacks a row of enemies up to two tiles behind the target enemy without receiving a t retaliation. The behemoth is next, the first of the heavy units with a decent range and movement speed. It has attack bonuses in bushes and in forests, with defense bonuses on rubble and in houses, and both an attack and defense bonus versus light units and ranged units. It can hide, but only on hills, and its second skill is called Force Field, which absorbs damage points by two, up to a minimum of one damage point. Lastly, of the age-specific units, is the Battle Fortress. Its range is medium, but with high movement speed. It has attack and defense bonus on the planes and versus light units and ranged units, with an additional attack bonus on hills and a defense bonus in forests. It has one skill, but in my opinion, fairly high-powered, called Reactive Armor, which means that it cannot take more than three damage per attack. Finally, you have the Champion which is the third and last heavy unit, which is similar than most other champions in the later ages, and the rogue, which we've covered multiple times, and is most likely the best unit of any age, when paired correctly. Now let's see them in action. The fast unit goes first, and as you can see, it can move pretty much anywhere around the map, and with a decent range, it can attack any of the enemy units. Since it has an attack bonus against heavy units and artillery, those are the units I'll focus on. Since the champion has an attack bonus versus the fast unit, and it's the only one that it can attack, I'll go for that one. Similarly to the fast unit, the artillery unit can hit anything on the map, but since it has an attack bonus versus the heavy unit and a ranged unit, I'll focus on those. Unfortunately, I won't be able to use the dragon skill. And just like that, a decent battle. One thing that I noticed was that even though the Battle Fortress can only take three points of damage, the Arctic Orangery skill is still able to double that. The last thing I'll say is that although I enjoy using the Arctic Future units, I think that my favorite unit through any age is the Hover Tank. That being said, if you use the Hover Tank against Arctic Future units, the Arctic Orangery skill doesn't work. That's the end of this video. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. If you enjoyed the video and would want to see more, please like and subscribe. And as always, keep on jamming.